<clears throat> so now the next episode of season two that I'll be doing is called Cows. Edward was getting old. His bearings were worn and he clanked as he puffed along. He was taking empty cattle cars to a market town. The sun shone, birds sang. But Edward was heading for trouble. Come on, come on, he puffed. Oh, oh, screamed the cars. Edward puffed and clanked. The cars rattled and screamed. Some cows were grazing nearby. They were not used to trains. The noise and smoke disturbed them. As Edward clanked by, they broke through the fence and ran across the line. A coupling was broken and some cars were left behind. Man, those cows are very strong to have broken that fence and just go gather around one of the cars. It's the attack of the cows! Everybody run away! Edward felt a jerk, but didn't take much notice. He was used to cattle cars. Bother those cars, he thought. Why can't they come quietly? He was at the next station before either he or his driver realized what had happened. When Gordon and Henry heard about the accident, they laughed and boasted. Fancy allowing cows to break your train. They wouldn't dare do that to us. We'd show them. But you've never had to deal with a cow before, so how do you know that you would... You would uh, take care of the cow if, if if you've never had to deal with one before. Old Toby was cross. You couldn't help it, Edward. They've never met cows. I have. Exactly. I know Toby knows what's what's what I mean. <laughs> See, Toby is smart, everybody. Some days later, Gordon rushed through Edward's station. Mind the cows. Hurry, hurry, puffed Gordon. Don't make such a fuss. Don't make such a fuss, grumbled his coaches. A long stretch of line lay ahead. In the distance was a bridge. It seemed to Gordon that there was something on the bridge. His driver thought so, too. Whoa, Gordon, he said, and shut off steam. Huh, said Gordon. It's only a cow. Shoo! Shoo! He moved slowly onto the bridge, but the cow wouldn't shoo. Why would you think saying shoo would get rid of the cow? This is what happens when you don't deal with cows on a daily basis. She had lost her calf and felt lonely. <coughs> she said sadly. Everyone tried to send her away, but she wouldn't go. Henry arrived. What's this? A cow? I'll soon settle her. Be off! Be off! <coughs> Henry backed away nervously. I don't want to hurt her. Now Henry's being smart too. If you see something like an animal, just back away or just, you know, just try not to disturb it, okay? At the next station, Henry's conductor told them about the cow and warned the signalman that the line was blocked. That must be Bluebell, said the porter. Her calf is here, looking for her mother. Percy will take her along. I don't know about you people, but some of these little musical themes in this show, man, they're super catchy as heck, man. I love them. At the bridge, Bluebell was very pleased to see her calf again, and the porter led them away. Not a word. Keep it secret. 
whispered Gordon and Henry to each other. They felt rather silly. But the story soon spread. Like stories always do about other people or trains well, in this well, case. Well, well, chuckled Edward. Two big engines afraid of a cow. Afraid? Rubbish, said Gordon. We didn't want the poor thing to hurt herself by running up against us. We stopped so as not to excite her. You see what I mean, my dear Edward? And of course, they're making excuses so that they don't... But, you know, the excuse is going to make them even more silly than they already are. Yes, Gordon, said Edward. <laughs> Gordon felt somehow that Edward saw only too well. Dun, 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 dun,